Paw Patrol Live, the great pirate adventure is coming to the Making Coliseum and Paw Patrol spokesperson, Sarah Harrell, is here to tell us all about it. Absolutely. Well, it is Pirate Day in Adventure Bay and Ryder and the pups are actually on a mission to save Captain Turbot. On this mission, they find a treasure map and it leads exactly to the hidden treasure. And they're trying to get to the hidden treasure before Mayor Humdinger finds it. This sounds fun. For those who don't maybe know Paw Patrol the show, do you have to be familiar with the TV series in order to enjoy this live show? Absolutely not at all. You do not have to be familiar with it. It's a very unique show, so anybody would have a great time. It's perfect for the whole family. Great. Now you're from Middle Georgia. We need to mention that. Tell us where you're from and what's it like for you to bring this show and perform in your home region? Absolutely. I'm from Forsyth, Georgia, and so I'm very familiar with Macon. It's really special to actually do this basically in my hometown and have some friends and family members get to come see it. Good. Now, what's the recommended age group for this show? So the recommended age is two to six. It's perfect for that age group, but really it's great for the whole family. It has a lot of upbeat music. Um, there's fun clues and puzzles and all of these fun characters. All right, now do kids, do they need to remain in their seats or can they get up and sing and dance and interact? They do not have to remain in their seats. It's really hard for kids to sit in their seats and be quiet for an entire production. We completely understand that. Paw Patrol Live is kid friendly, so we actually encourage them to dance, sing, and help with all these puzzles along the way. Thank you again for being with us today. Paw Patrol Live, the great pirate adventure, comes to the Making Coliseum September 16th and 17th for showtimes and ticket prices. You can head to 41NBC.com.